Rahul Shivshankar. Rahul, for the last two weeks, Times Now has been exposing the Karoli truth bit by bit. And the man on the screen now, the Congress ally Matlu Ahmed, is caught on camera leading the riot. And what is the state government done? It has not done anything. Well, there are two or three contradictions here, and let's uh, just focus on them for a few moments. Who is Matlub? Matlub is an individual who supports the Congress in the Parishad, in the Karoli Parishad. Then Let me straight away go across to Sabya Sachi for more on this, and I believe we also have guests joining us here on the broadcast. But Sabya Sachi, how much more proof and evidence that is needed? Because he is named in the FIR, there are videos of him, he's clearly a wanted man. For Raja Lakshmi Joshi, who's a political analyst, joining us here on the broadcast, and also Lokesh Jindal, leader of the Congress Party. Jindal Saab, how much more proof do you need? Because he's an ally of the Congress Party, he's allowed to lead a riot and then go scot free. No action will be taken, sir. Justice them, sir, for other states. is justice buried. Let Rajasthan, let Rajasthan set parlance. an example for other states. Can you give it, me it a date? Will, Next 24 will. hours, Matlu Behemoth will be in custody. It is setting an example and it will set an example. Raja Lakshmi ji, Raja Lakshmi ji, that is the evidence that we have. It's enough. The people there have identified Matlu Behemoth. Uh, yeah, this actually, uh, I, I must say that Rajasthan is setting up a very fine example of anarchy, of how, you know, this uh, Congress government is using everything in its, uh, everything in a book to create a situation of mayhem and to show that, you know, uh, there is this divide in the community. How, how easily they can allow this, there was this hijab procession, there was this uh, anti-hijab, uh, uh, whatever was happening for that. There was absolute peace, and that that happened in a very peaceful way. So this so-called right-wing, uh, you know, uh, whatever these, these people are terming it as, that uh, the majority has victimized the minority, and that is why all of this is happening, and etc., etc., etc. This kind of narrative that is being created, that is all, you know, that is all just rubbish. But it so, seems that the Congress Party in Rajasthan is on a completely different tangent. Is on a completely different tangent. On the Congress link councillor and the main accused Matlu Behmar not being traceable. It's been thirty days now. The Rajasthan minister. Government must now say, "Chalo, chalo, Matlu." Raj Lakshmi, I believe you have uh, a comment to make as far as uh, you've been hearing all of the reactions that are coming in from the Congress party side. Yes, please go on. Uh, Amita, it is actually shocking that, you know, this was a pre-planned violence, which, you know, uh, whatever we're talking about, stones and patthar and all, if you actually go and uh, check the circumstances, you must have seen that they're not actually some small stones. They were huge bars of 10 to 15 kilos. That doesn't happen just by mere provocation, just like you had the catapult in another place. So, yeah, uh, Mr. Jindal, you can laugh all you want, but that doesn't change the fact. And it is, it is, it is shocking that you are laughing at such a situation. It is, it is really sad that, you know, your ministers are actually behaving so arrogant on national television and they're asking... Uh, why we are, we are asking questions about such things? Instead of getting into the uh, root of the matter, you're just uh, denying it by saying that nothing I of the sort I don't understand, Mr. Jindal. Wow, what is there to I smile about this entire... Thank you very much for the moment, Mr. Jindal and Rajalakshmi for joining us here on the broadcast.